taking phases. The um, initial phase was, I think, a reasonable conversation, but it obviously got heated as um, the officer got frustrated with not having the car opened as he wanted. And the sense of frustration seemed to build to the extent that he arrested Nomi. And I think that's where it went wrong because it, it even though she might not have been as cooperative as he wanted her to be, I don't think it warranted um, handcuffing her, arresting her, and then taking to the station where she was detained for 18 hours. And so for me, you know, it, it, it a reasonable situation that I think escalated and it wasn't warranted. And I have to consider whether if it was a white nurse, if, if that would have happened. And um, in this day and age where we have to be so conscious about racial bias and prejudice and systemic failures, we need to be conscious of every encounter an officer has with a person who can easily feel demonized and devalued because of the color of their skin. What some people watching could argue, the fact that Naomi failed to come out of the car in, in a way, is obstruction. What would you have done? What should the officer have done? Well, you know, I, I've had situations where, initially, a person has been uh, in an obstructive point of view, a frame of mind, you know, not complying. And, and, and compliance is very important when you want to deal with something, especially when you think it's quite critical. But in this case, I don't think the compliance was a critical factor that it's going to obstruct the officers executing his duty throughout. So once once she's out the vehicle, then I don't think there's an obstruction. And, and to say that's the, still a, a case to um, handcuff her and take her to the station for 18 hours or so, I, I think that's definitely um, disproportionate. I, I've had situations like that, and I've had to deal with someone. And once the you know, that person has calmed down and I can carry on with what I'm supposed to do, I will do that. And, and, and even if I've arrested them for the obstruction, I can easily de-arrest them. It's not like once I've arrested, that's it. You can de-arrest to say, listen, you know, I've carried out what I needed to do. You're no longer obstructing me. And, you know, words of advice or something of that nature. But to arrest, um, handcuff, and detained for 18 hours, I think is disproportionate and un unnecessary.